thanks. Today. No, you're not. <laughs> so fucked. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Life of the Lost. And today I want to talk about growing up in New York City. It's a giant contrast from growing up in suburbia, Minnesota, from transportation. I guess when I was 15 years old, I was driving. Coming here, you know, you have to take trains everywhere and buses everywhere. And what does that mean? Even going to, you know, your college for the very first time, there's just so many floors. And it's just funny because in college, I think there was maybe three or four floors max. In elementary, there was one or two. So just seeing like all these buildings, the high pop or the dense population growing up in the holy like Mecca of New York City. Let's pinpoint it. Junior high. Well, for me, it's junior high. For you, it's middle school. So when you were in middle school, and you woke up on a typical Saturday and you wanted to hang out with your friends, how would that go down? It would go down by me relentlessly picking up the phone to make the rounds. <laughs> when I was growing up, I had a cul-de-sac and it was really nice because we had houses that were really fair, really close to each other. You know, we all had big backyards, pretty nice front yards, and we just call up a friend or pretty much just go walk over to their house because it was less than a block away, mostly ne right next door knock on the door, can so-and-so come out and play? Yeah, no, honestly, like, it was a little bit of that, too, here. The Upper West Side in this little niche was, like, our cul-de-sac in a way. Because there were times that I do remember, you know, going to a few of my friends' houses and just simply just knocking on their door. And especially as we got older, like middle school, I would just walk over and just knock on the door. And it's funny, too, because I'd always call first sometimes. <laughs> I'd call, like, three times. And, you know, if there's no ringing, sometimes, like, I've, I've known that, like, one of my friends specifically, you know, like, sometimes they're sleeping. So there's, that's why they don't pick up the phone. So I'm like, all right, bet. I go wake you up? <laughs> just, like, I, I could use uh, some fresh air. Let me just uh, walk over there. It's not too far. It's, like, about a few blocks. And I would just go over there. And sometimes, you know, his mom would be there. And it's funny because his mom didn't really speak much English. So I would just kind of just say hey is uh you know so and so ready like um here can i like hang out with him and, he, and you know the the mom's like oh uh, yeah yeah but he's uh sleeping i'm like oh okay and she's like uh oh, come wait come wait and i'm like oh okay cool <laughs> so i would just like wait there for like honestly sometimes i feel like i have no life looking back at that because honestly i'd wait there for maybe like 30 45 minutes so you literally waited till they woke up you didn't go in the room and try to like wake up like i want to hang out yeah nah that happened as we got even older into high school kind of like the beginning of high school you know that would be the case i'd just like kind of be like yo what's up <laughs> wake up man and he'd be like what oh what's up dude and i'd just be like you want to hang out They're like yeah 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 did they do that to you too they'd you, come your mom would open the door and just be like yo go wake him up no i think only a few times they would they would knock on my door but it was mostly me going to going over there. I'm not sure why that was. So that's how the days would start, you know, especially in the summer when there was no uh, no school. It was definitely really dope. Talking about growing up on the Upper West Side, you never really explore it until that, for me, that specific, there was a specific summer actually that I was literally hanging out with the same group of kids all summer. We would do anything and everything. There would be multiple sleepovers at, at my house, and we just like, chill and just fucking play video games and and just hang out and just order food. And what do you think you ordered the most? McDonald's. I definitely ordered McDonald's. Like literally, it was disgusting how how much McDonald's we ordered. Like a specific meal, or yeah, you changed literally it up? this almost the same meal all the time. What was it? Forty piece chicken nuggets, large French fries, and an extra large high C orange. Only for you. For, yeah, that was for me, and we would, you know, times that to however many friends were there. And, and we, you, you would sit down and you would eat a 40-piece, it. Yeah, it like, was by all yourself. Gone. Yeah, it was all gone. It was to the point where we were, like, our age, 13, and one of my friends being like, yeah, I don't, this is pretty bad, don't you think? <laughs> like, you know, like, boys, like, teenage boys saying that, like, just, I guess course. that's really that's bad. That's when then. you know it's really, really bad. But, yeah, so we would do that, and... It, man, the minute, like, I remember I found, like, an old camcorder that my mom had, and we had for, like, vacations, and I, it never really was utilized, because we don't, we don't, go, you know, you only go on so many vacations, so I'd just be sitting there, and I just remember being like, like, check this out, guys, we got a, we got a, got a camcorder, 
literally like there would be days we would just do nothing but film like you want to talk about vlogging back in the day really? we would just film everything like what would you do oh man just like what you would call hood rat stuff <laughs> it's fun it's fun to do bad things but i wanted to do hood rat stuff with my friend we would just film we'd have these epic wrestling matches where it's like in your apartment in your room yeah, like yeah in my in my apartment in another friend's apartment we would just literally it's just like test of strength we would but you're doing body slams and the people downstairs they don't care not wrestling the way you think of it okay more wrestling like literally like sparring with each other okay like we'd be grappling we'd be like trying to just test each other's strengths anything know, like get dude. broken oh yeah i'm sure a ton of things got broken <laughs> bodies did slam you know any angry moms yeah my mom did my mom <laughs> was angry yeah and my friend's mom was very angry too sometimes but it was dope it was dope because it's kind of cool because like as a kid you kind of you don't really have such reservations about yourself or about other people like about your friends maybe or, or your lives like none of that stuff is important so i feel like it definitely bred a really kind of dope vibe especially with the friends that i had at the time and i guess it was kind of the reason why i say it's kind of cool because like i feel like there was like there was like power levels <laughs> it was weird because we would always spar with each other, we always knew how strong each one was to each other. And I was always low, low, if not like the lowest ranking, <laughs> but I was always like, you know, I was always that kid who was like, yo, let's go again. And they'd be like, oh, man, I'm just going to beat you again. <laughs> but I don't care. I, I could do it this time. When they weren't there, were you maybe training or at all? No, 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 no. Not, it was just it like, was just kind of like only when they were there. Just turns on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. For instance, there were times we would get on each other's nerves, but you'd know, don't don't piss me off, man. Yes. Yeah. We've we've done this before. Right. Like, <laughs> I'll put you in your place. <laughs> How did did that did any of the fights ever get really serious? No. Sometimes. But it, it was never like I don't know, with guys, like it's never never serious. Like, you know, you just tick somebody off. This is when World of Warcraft was at its peak or like right before its peak because this was actually before world of warcraft came out like okay. warcraft 3 i don't know any of you nerds <laughs> might know them but i really love that game they haven't made a game like that since but i just remember there was an online part of the game and i just you know you could really get into it you, you know like i played some of it sometimes too recently for nostalgia yeah. purposes only <laughs> um where I can't do anything. I'm I'm zoned in. It's online. Like there's rankings, and I just have to do good. And so sometimes I would piss off one of my friends, and just poking at him and just throwing shit. And he's just like, "Yo, I'm telling you, man, don't don't." don't While they're do playing that. the game, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Okay. don't do that. I'm just, just do it one more time. See what happens. So I'm like, <laughs> and then he just c gets up, and you know, the rest is history. But it was like dope, dope moments like that. So there was times inside where we'd film that, and then there's other times where we would go to the park. We we had like BMX bikes at the time, going from you know 89th Street and, and West End to like you know 79th at Broadway to like anywhere, any time to, to have fun. We we'd be there. I remember I'd always want to like get my friends into playing football. Never, none of them really wanted to play football, but I'm and you're relatively trying. close to Central Park. Yeah. Just a few blocks away, one way, and then a few blocks away uh, to the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of area that we could, like, hang out. Definitely at the skate park on 108th Street was, like, a place that we used to hang out a lot. I never really, I never was really good at skating. I, I tried, but I, I never was one of those guys who could just, like, go on a half pipe and, and do all that. But, you know, when my friends wanted to do it, they were better than me. So I'd, I'd support them. I'd, I'd just be chilling, <laughs> trying, busting my ass. But um, I'd be there. Any broken bones? No, no. Thank God. Yeah, no. No broken bones. I'm surprised, actually. Yeah. But. As a kid, just running around, like, causing mischief. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, yeah, no, those those were the days. Um, so you're talking about football? Like, you would get a lot of people together, just a few people? Yeah, what's interesting, I had a friend who I can attribute really getting me into football and, you know, really <laughs> kind of putting me on the spot sometimes, you know, because he, cause he'd be like, so you don't have a favorite team? And I'm like, no, should I have a, f yeah, yeah, I have a favorite team. <laughs> and he's like, all right, so what is it? And I joke with him. It, it, it's interesting because it started to become like, a, he took it a little more serious than me, I felt, but I was joking with him until like, for some reason, I just caught on. And it's weird. I was adopted by a single mom. I didn't 
I didn't um, have like a dad who was like into sports. My mom wasn't into sports, so sports was non-existent if, if I didn't get into it. But I just, for whatever reason, took it like ever so slightly more seriously. And, you know, through my life, you know, going to sleepaway camp, I, you know, I knew a few kids who had jerseys and Tennessee Titans jersey. I remember specifically one of them. And it's just like kind of like resonated with me. I still remember it to this day, like how cool it looked. I guess it's weird. You know, I, I dabbled with a few few teams at first, definitely. Um, first it was the Broncos. Why? I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I think maybe it's the orange color. I just remember the, the quarterback at the time, his name was Jake Plummer. <laughs> That's the only thing, because I, I knew I had to remember that because my friend, he was going to test me. you. Do you know any players on this team? <laughs> I do, Jake Plummer. <laughs> do you One. know any other players? And it expanded too. So like when I, so after that, team the broncos it's interesting i just went to the raiders and it's in the same division too so mm -hmm. it's like weird so yeah that's when it that's when um the i think when i really started to have to pick a team and i just remember watching a, the raiders game one day and it just clicked just clicked in me and i just knew that i was a raiders fan it's weird and ever since then it was it's just grown but it's kind of cool because you were you were kind of questioned by somebody who did have a dad and I don't know how, when or how he got into football, but that's really cool because I think I was kind of raised in bars, you know, raised on my dad played softball, you know, and they would drink afterwards and they would talk about sports. And then, you know, we were always at bars watching Minnesota Vikings games and the wild games and things like that. So that's kind of where, which is really interesting because when I first started like hanging out with you, it was, it was like seriously new to me very new to me I remember being like wait like we can do this like this is a thing like going like, to bars you, the first time like going to bar with you guys and drinking yeah. i was just like what <laughs> like these like these are like honestly i've never had wings until i think that was around that time really when i really started getting into eating wings yeah ever since then like wings was non-existent in my life and you know obviously the bar food that that yeah that persona of just like football and like drinking and like food like wings yeah particularly right was like something that i never experienced um before and i want honestly maybe would have never if if uh not for my friend too you know to really like birth that that passion in me for football and now it's kind of like a tradition you know so when football yeah. games come on go to the bar we know we're probably gonna get wings probably gonna get some nachos we know we're probably gonna drink and it's really i kind of like that that's kind of how it was passed down to me it's just like a really great time with friends and family and you're watching the game and everybody is excited and conversations and drinks are being poured and it's just it's like it's a really cool you know experience and it's nice to kind of pass that down and it's a fun tradition i think that we've kind of started yeah definitely definitely yeah yeah when your team's winning i'll say that <laughs> it's a fun experience when your team's winning i don't know i feel like over the years i've definitely gotten a little bit more uh extreme with it i just i just love football i don't know something about it i was never the biggest kid in high school or big kid really in general so football was never really an option for me but but do they even have because i had football you know fields in Minnesota at every high school to, and and now we're talking you're in New York City are there football fields around here no there isn't I've actually done research too like there's honestly like a handful of schools that even have football programs and that's I honestly don't know what it is I mean I've heard things there's not enough kids in a particular high school to even have a football team mm -hmm. and on top of that even if there is enough kids there isn't enough interest in ha in playing football because i guess i don't know people in new york don't like playing football especially in the city um but i feel like space has to be a factor too definitely because, i mean I, we've been to a few different soccer fields but i've never seen a football field here yeah definitely because you know it's, it's just it's a lot of a lot of work right you know you have to have shoulder pads different kinds of shoulder pads helmets jerseys cleats you know socks the whole like pads whole whole get up and to i've find. seen more i've seen more hockey players here than i have football players yeah because it, it, you know you're talking about hockey how many people how many players play hockey like how many people on a team like five five people per team per team yeah or like, you mean like on the ice on the ice sorry three four five including goalie i believe six 
Six. Okay. Yeah. So you're talking about like double that for like That's football true. for That's one true. for one first string. That's and then true. you have to I double that for a that. second. Yeah. And then maybe a third on certain positions. You can get away with having just a replacement. Right. And you need a few guys to kind of just be versatile players who can yeah. play multiple positions. And then, and then you have, have defense. Look for that in every single school. Yeah. So okay. on top of having the funding for it, you yeah. know, especially in New York City, funding is being cut for gym and, and all that kind of stuff. So, and then on top of all that, the, I guess the interest mm. in having kids want to play football. Yeah. There isn't much of that. For me, when I grew up, there wasn't much of that at all. No one really watched football, which is weird, right? Um, so when you got together with friends then, was it more, it was just fun, for fun? Was it tackle football? Was it flag yeah, football? Yeah, no, I um, I had one friend in particular that we would always kind of play football. We would always like, this is how it started. We'd always play Madden and get like super hyped up and then or like watch a game and just get super hyped up and we're just like yo let's go play football it was even doper when it when it snowed because then we're like oh yeah we're an extra layer and not feel too bad about falling because the snow is like you know kind of cushiony yeah so it was really dope and it was just me and him and kind of what we would do is there wasn't you're right there wasn't that many fields so what people did back then which is interesting because since then since like my era that i had with him the golden years of that <laughs> it stopped like mm -hmm. nobody plays anymore in that specific place there's a place on um i don't know if you're familiar with the upper west side but it's in central park it's right on like 72nd street and it's not in the baseball fields but it's right outside the baseball fields it's not even like a field but just a little space that you can just like play a small pickup game of soccer or football and I just remember going there with him. He's Eagles fan, that I heard at the time. I um, had a Raiders jersey, and he had his Eagles jersey, and we would just throw. On the way there, we would just pray, please let there be like people there already trying Play. to start something. Yeah, so that's kind of like how we would do it. So it would just be random pickup games, really? Yeah, like we'd just be oh. playing with adults, too. You know, and yeah. they'd be like, oh, yeah, you can play. And we'd always take turns. You, you gonna ask? Or I'm gonna ask. Wait, I asked last time. You asked this time. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I remember one time in particular, it was a big game going on. We were gonna ask, and we did ask, but it was kind of like nerve wracking because, you know, there, it was a huge game. It was like 12 on 12. I don't know how many people, like, I don't know. How many is it usually when you win? <sighs> like tops, maybe like six on six. Okay. And it was crazy. For whatever reason, there was a dude who had tried out for the, the Eagles playing in that game. Jeez. Just dead ass like football, legit, just jacked out of his mind playing fo like tackle football with randos. And it was just wild because I just vividly remember the sun was going down. It was like seven o'clock. And I just remember seeing this big brolic dude bulldozing his way like literally dragging five dudes it just a who are trying to tackle trying him. to tackle him but these are not football players these are like this dude tried out for a football team you know you have to be like good a certain extent to to have you know, to say that you can do that so like he's literally dragging these dudes and it's a dusty area so all i could see was dust like <laughs> picking up and i was just like you know at the time i was i was genuinely nervous to play the, the one of the guys was like you sure you want to play you know because i wasn't that big so i'm just like yeah, I like shook my head like mad nervous confidently like yeah, I'll play and it was like one of the most like Stressful times because I was just I remember I was like don't like like don't mess up Don't mess up. Don't let this guy catch this ball on you um, Thankfully no no one did I, I did my part, you know, yeah, but um One of the peak times that um that I enjoyed, you know still uh still that wandering drifter looking for pick up game hoping one day <laughs> somebody be like hey you want to play football yeah man thought you never asked been waiting like 10 years for this uh. yeah but then it kind of transferred a little bit to soccer because i know we would walk around and kind of look up for pick up games soccer yeah. soccer is like pss, soccer is like seconds second best yeah it's like you can't you know your first first dream is like you know football and eh, i guess people playing soccer <laughs> why not you know because then you start getting into like you know i need to stay in shape I need a you know, soccer. I guess I can make that a hobby, but eh, it's I kind of steered away from that just because drama. I remember one time somebody specifically stepped on your hand when you were yeah. playing soccer, and it was constant drama. It seemed like 
yeah because it gets heated it gets heated i don't i don't blame people just they just want to like be physical with you and they don't expect you to be physical back you know i like playing depending on if it's a physical physical game or if it's more of like a strategic i don't know how you say it just like a pickup game versus more of a serious pickup game maybe yeah some people are like better ball handlers so mm-hmm. they can kind of move the ball around you and not have it not need you guys to conflict mm. and some guys like just are more aggressive and they they can do that but they also choose to go through you instead mm. of like maybe around you yeah in a way use use their body and kind of push up against you and stuff like that so yeah so that's definitely something that i had problems with i stopped playing honestly uh because i didn't like that there were so many people who spoke spanish and i couldn't understand and i didn't know what they were saying like I didn't want to get into it because they'd be like, "What? You don't know Spanish? Come yeah. on, man! Like you gotta learn." I'm and like, it's like, "Let me explain my life story yeah, again." So, and, and it's again. like, "Yeah." So I'm like, "I don't want to explain it." Yeah, I gotta learn. You know, that's kind of like why I took up running. <laughs> yeah. Um, because that that's a little less stressful. What else would you film? <laughs> I can just see you. Yeah. With a little camcorder it's fun- in your hand. Yeah, it's funny. We would all like take turns because it was always on, and we'd just be like. You know, do you still so have those videos? I do, actually. I think I do. But Very I don't nice. have anything to read them. We need to get a reader for them. Okay. Because the video camera that I had doesn't work. I don't know. It just stopped working. Yeah. So I feel like they have to have something. Yeah, like a little one. I, I think I looked up once. But yeah, so I guess one of the other things that I took up to was uh, fishing. But I don't know. Maybe we can save that for another time. Because getting a little too deep into it i mean i guess fishing is such a a broader topic that kind of leads us to right now because it's kind of like another hobby that we just picked up yeah and i think (laughs) we have so many stories just about that in general yeah stories so for sure overall the final question and you know the overall theme of growing up in the upper west side you know what was that to you it was amazing i i really enjoyed it a lot of friends had a lot of dominican friends mostly I mean, it's interesting, too. Like, a lot of my friends were Dominican. You know, that culture is weirdly a part of me, too. Yeah. Because, you know, like, the Dominican moms, they took care of me. They made me food all the time. <laughs> so, you know, I grew you were up. In, you weren't ordering McDonald's at their houses? No, no. Like, Platano's and, <laughs> and you know, rice and beans. And so it was great. So, you know, I have I have much, much love for um, for that culture. It was definitely... um awesome each each family really took me in and definitely gave me a sense of belonging you know my life you know an adoptee's life you're always searching for a sense of belonging so those those moments were were really special to me looking back at it even more obviously look being then you don't really get the full grasp of it until you can look back and say wow they built like a really nice network and a really nice community yes yes they did And I will forever be grateful for that and forever be grateful for the Upper West Side for giving me that because they're just really good, really good guys, mentally ambitious dudes. And I respect them. Yeah, definitely. The Upper West Side was amazing. It made me who I am today. I don't think that I would be me if I lived in any other part of New York City, the Upper East Side, you know, Spanish Harlem, Harlem, Washington Heights, you know, Hell's Kitchen, um it seems like this is a little bit of a you know more safer area too for you as a kid to kind of like roam around in yeah yeah it was it was nice it was very at the time was very family oriented now it's much different like i said i'm just very thankful that i was able to grow up in the time that i did in the specific neighborhood of new york city that i did with that said if you have any stories about the upper west side that you'd care to share please let me know. I'd love to talk about it. We'd love to talk about it. Um, share, share our experiences. Till next time, guys. Take care.